Okay, starting off turn number five, no, with turn number six with Arjun. Now we have this blazing skeleton, so we're going to get rid of it, hopefully. So Arjun's going to move. He isn't slowed down or anything. Um, I think all of our slowness is gone, yeah. So Arjun's going to move uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and have him move all the way down here, use his entire speed. That way he'll be adjacent to the blazing skeleton and on an unexplored edge. We could also go one, two, three, four. Either way, we have the speed for it. So Arjun's going to move down here next to the blazing skeleton, use that precise strike again. And the blazing skeleton only has a 13, so we just need to roll anything but a 1. So we get a 10. That's uh, clearly good enough to hit. So we flip the precise strike over again. Blazing skeleton goes into our experience pile. And the blazing skeleton goes off the board. And Arjun's going to get a treasure for that. So let's see what he gets. Crystal Ball. Uh, you can use this instead of attacking. Reveal the top card. And you can use it all you want because there's no discard on it. Um, reveal the top card of any card deck. Or the top tile. Yeah, we'll probably never use that. It'll probably just be part of our collection. So now we have three, four, five, six, seven. So we need five more. So let's update for Arjun. So he did not need a surge. He did move. He did attack. He got that treasure card. Now he's on an unexplored edge, so he's going to explore. So let's slide our whole thing up a bit and grab a new tile. And it's going to be a black triangle. So we're going to draw a monster. And it's going to be a gargoyle. These are... Not terrible if you can get away from them, but I think we're probably going to have to deal with this one because eventually we have to be at the start tile to get out of the game, so we're probably going to have to deal with this guy. So he got a black tile, he got a gargoyle, no conditions, so we will have an encounter. Blazing skeleton's gone. No, wait. Yeah, it is. Okay, gargoyle. All right, so encounter. And I think this is the, we, we got to see what, th this is the environment. And what is this one again? So, so basically you have to draw two monsters. Um, I'm gonna say I'm, I don't want this one to be around because that could get really bad. We know we could draw a zombie and a wraith and have to play the wraith and throw away the zombie. I definitely don't want to do anything like that. So I think it's time to spend some experience to get rid of one of those. So there's our stack, one of our stacks of five, so that now becomes a uh, discard. So we have another stack of five here, and we're getting close to another stack of five there. So that was the encounter, but we canceled it. So I always like to write just yes, but cancel. Now the gargoyle activates. If it's within one tile, it is. It moves adjacent or moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks everybody. So in this case, bone pile to bone pile makes sense because it doesn't have to be adjacent. And it's going to attack with the whirlwind of claws and it's going to do damage no matter what. Ah, yuck. Really wish I had another precise strike, but we don't. So it's going to attack with the plus eight. Needs to roll fairly low to miss us. Eight or lower. 15, so it's going to hit. So it does 2 damage and slows down Arjun. Yikes. So we're slowed. And 2 damage, so we're down to 3. Feeling the pain. Alright, so that is the end of Arjun's turn 6. Now we start Alyssa's turn 6. She has a movement speed of 6, so I think she can get down by the down by the gargoyle. Let's see what she can do. She has hit and run. 
So hit or miss, you can place your hero on any. So here's what we could do. This is always a gamble. Um, and I don't know if we're going to gamble because we can, we can move next to the gargoyle and hit it for one. And we guarantee to do one damage to it. Otherwise, we move up and we roll, and we have to roll a 10 or higher, and I don't think we're going to do that. I think our best bet is going to be... The thing is, if she moves down here and doesn't explore, then she's going to have to take an encounter, no new tile or anything. I think we have to do it, though. So Alyssa is going to move one, two, three, and then she can just ping the gargoyle to do one damage. That way we're pretty much guaranteed to kill it next round. I mean, we are guaranteed to kill it next round. Otherwise, she can just move over here and explore. Hmm. I think we need to get rid of the gargoyle. So she's going to move down here and just ping it for one. So one damage onto the gargoyle. So Alyssa did not need a surge. She moved. She attacked. She does not get treasure because she didn't kill anything. She's not exploring, so we do not place a tile. We do not draw a new monster for her but she does have an encounter. All right, let's see. This is the red one. Can't remember what it does, but I see corridor attack each hero on the active hero's tile. After the attack, place each hero on the active hero's tile. Wait, after the attack, place each hero on the active hero's tile, on a tile, within one tile of the active hero's tile, I see. Let's cancel it, because either way it's going to hit us both for one, so let's cancel that one. So that's our other stack of five, so currently we don't have enough experience to cancel anything, but I think it was worth it, so yes, but canceled. That's the end of our villain phase and the end of turn number six.